Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is monthly tower reading for Capricorn for December 2015. I have already pre-shuffled the cards before recording this video. So I won't shuffle too long. If you want to um if you're interested in getting a private reading, you could send me an email at ggli tarot at gmail.com and let's see what's What's the energy for you, Capricorn, for um, December 2015? The first card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. It's powerful. All right. You're in a good position. Um, I mean, you feel confident financially. Queen of Pentacles, we were talking about that earlier in on my Facebook group. It's also as well um, could represent a boss or a professional such as a nurse, social worker, things of that nature. And you're looking at the past, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's something about yourself. We'll have to see the other cards to really understand the meaning. But as its own, it really is. A, it's a very confident card, okay? Um, not just in terms of asset, but the Queen of Pentacles value the relationship that she has with others, her family, her friends, her husband, his husband, his wife, her wife, all of that. A Queen of Pentacles is someone who's really um, fair by nature, very understanding. There's a great balance about the Queen of Pentacles. So you're entering the month of December, Capricorn, with this type of energy. And let's see what we have in the near future for December. The near past, sorry. We have the Ace of Swords. So you're going to go so forward with something. Some of you, if you, some of you have been filing documents to get an approval for something, whether it's school whether it's from the government, whether it's from work, you know, some of you will definite have definitely have clear answers starting December, Capricorn. And it could be anything, you know, but it's it's something that it's favorable because when you look at the ace of swords, you know, it's it's kind of it's giving you like the yes, you know, it's it's good. It's a go. So you'll be um you know, going further in in something. We'll have to see what, what it is that could be. But this could be many things. It could be just in your, in terms of uh, you uh, enrolling for a class and then they confirm that you're, you know, you've been received, you were admitted. And, okay, so now you got to go for this. Or it could be you wanting to get a job with the government, and but they're telling you, yes, we have received a complete, all your documents are completed, we'll go forward. So it's really great. There's no delay, it's sharp, everything is on time. You know, Pluto uh, is in Capricorn right now, so definitely, in terms of communicating um, in December, you will get things done. Because this energy is... is, is it's still something that you bring from November in December, which is great for you, my Capricorn. And let's see what we have in the present position for Capricorn. We have the Queen of Rods. Oh, yeah, you, you're very determined. Presently. There's a goal, an ambition that you have to go, that you want to have complete, or that you want to have completed or that uh, you want, but you're going somewhere. And I think you're, you know, you have the skills already. You just want to further the skill or you just want to uh, perfect the skill. But a queen of wands is definitely someone who gets things done. So she could definitely represent one of your, you know, uh, ambition. Example, you could be a, someone who stay at home, but you want for 2016 you want to start doing your home project we're already in december you're going to set that up 
you're going to be talking to people. You, you already have a position where you may be able to get quick results already because you're, you're right on target. You're getting the collaboration that you need in a timely manner. You have, you know, um, a level of uh, seniority, maybe at work or in school. You know, you, you know, how it comes out in your personal life. Maybe it's in your family. Maybe at this point, you are the one where people, are, you know, you need to lead. People have to follow you. There's something that has to be done that may take a while. And, but you're there and you are taking charge in many, many ways for you, my lovely Capricorn. Also, I feel that you have a lot of support. It's not just you going somewhere. It's also people telling you, go, go. All right, do this, do that. You have so much, you know, uh, unity in your approach. So you're not going at it alone. Even if maybe the, the, the step or whatever you have to do is something that has to come from you, you're not alone. You have a, uh, you know, a lot of different people in your life that are pushing you. It could be someone from your neighbor, as close as, you know, your father. You have support. And so your mind is clear. You will do the work. Um, and gain, because now you're, you're, you're in a position to gain. You're just not just working, you're gaining. You know, you're either maybe teaching others, and through others you're, you know, gaining a reputation, skills as well, yeah, of course. But you definitely is a much comfortable position dealing with your ambition. So... Again, it could comes out it could come out in a different matter for you, my lovely Capricorn. Let's see what we have in the position of the future. Or mainly really the outcome. That would be the past, the near past, the present, and then we'll see the outcome for my lovely Capricorn. I'm just gonna take some water, sorry. Okay, let's see what we have here is the Eight of Cups. All right, so in December, prepare yourself for 2016. In December, it's like you have such a clarity that it's like, it's you know, your, your mind is like either you jump in my train or you don't. It's not you I, leaving anything. It's you, you know, Having asking people to take a position and you tell them it's black or white You know, it's either you're with me or you're not You're moving on and it's because you're going somewhere This is the present time. It's queen of wands. It's you know, the outcome will ultimately have you leave people people leaving you Which again, I keep saying is good. You know as we get older the people that we sur surround ourselves change and we I have different type of energy, so sometimes it happens, okay? But, you know, in December, your attitude is really to clear path. You're like, you know, this is what's happening, and so it will be. This is what I need. And know that with that, you're, you know, in a cleaning mode. You don't want to bring this, some people, with you or as, as close as they used to be to you in 2016 no you had something great yes of course but not all of those were good or bringing you something and so you're leaving things behind that will be the outcome for you in December 2015 Capricorn it's a good thing okay because after the eight of cups for those that do tarot with me is the nine of cups which is the wish card and it's really, isn't it not the cycle of life? When you give up on something and you just, something that you're holding on dearly or to have build or took you some time, whatever it was, when you're going to a different direction in life, you have to be willing to, you know, to move on 
and it, you may not bring everybody or everything or you may have to just you know take it for what it is and move on for other things so this is what's happening for you in December 2015 my lovely Capricorns I love you so much I'm a Scorpio so I have this attraction with Capricorns I have great friends that are Capricorns um, my best friend who's my little sister is a Capricorn so um, yes I trust you enjoy this reading I will um, send you all the blessing for you to be able to get exactly where you need to go this month in December and in the meantime if you like to subscribe to my channel uh, I would be very very appreciative you can also like and share my videos with your family and friends I have also a Facebook account that you can add me to and if you like to have a private reading you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com until next month I love you my Capricorn Mwah. blessings <laughs>